All right. This is my version of the 86 F-150 with the electric cooling fans and the 3G alternator upgrade. So you can see it's a one row alternator because it is the straight six. And I've got two, the two fans off of a uh, 98 Camaro LS. So I figured if they could cool that, they could cool this. Here's my relay setup for the two fans. It's off of two thermally triggered uh, variable adjusters that I have switched so cars off fans off um, I do have it on a 50 amp circuit breaker for two of them uh, I'm gonna change that I picked those up today to two fuses um, so this is what the original harness looked like that I took out of the alternator uh, the one thing I didn't anticipate was that that splice right there is what gives the cab all of its power which is on this one on that fusible link but that said it is a little easier to get to now uh, so this was the green wire that went to the alternator before you can see I've got it uh, tapped off to that other SXL green wire that goes to the alternator which is the 3G I got it out of a Taurus I ordered off the internet I think I got it from DB Electrical I think I paid 80 bucks um, again, there's the double V pulley that I took off of the original one with an impact wrench. Uh, and I did use the spacer off the original or the washer as a spacer. It floats very close but does not touch the, the case. Uh, I didn't have to cut or weld the bracket as you can see. It fits rather well. This is the 8 in change version. You can see I've got the 2 gauge wire coming off the back there. I didn't like that little stick off uh, that would come out to here, that red thing. So I cut that off and then ground it down and then bolted it directly to there. And that comes around to the, the mega fuse on each side. And then onto here, the solenoid for the, the battery there. And then you know, the positive cables and whatnot. The battery is a 668 and it did die on me because the other alternator failed so I almost didn't make it home but it should be charged up now um, so the alternator right now I think it's putting out around 14 volts I'm not sure if that'll increase once the battery gets fully charged but uh, I'll show you running starting it up out of the belt is uh, the belt old and a combination of uh, I ordered two of the same belts and when they came in when it was on the original alternator they one of them was a little bit longer than the other one so I could never get it tight enough to where both belts are uh, tight so I'm gonna try to order another set and see if I can't get it any tighter over and get a uh, voltmeter. I use the Cheese Harbor Freight one. closer to 14.4 as the, the battery charges up uh, from the alternator. And then, uh, I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but the, uh, the thermostat I believe is a 180, so I have fan one coming on at 185-ish. It's kind of tough to do on your own. You know, start the fan and check the gauge with an IR gun. And then the second one coming on at around uh, 195. 
Uh, it takes quite a long time to heat up as uh, this motor runs pretty cold as it is. I'm not going to bore you with that, but uh, that's how it worked. That's how it came out, and uh, I think it worked pretty well.